This is the book of Daniel chapter 7 and verse 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Echakadash, double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity, Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Echakadash, Brakadam, to use aquanium, wa akin wa aquafium, you know, elders and brothers and sisters out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, you know, you're giving diligence, make your calling and election sure, and of course, keeping faith. And Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shai in these last days. This is Brother Pashai, Ban Yashala. And this will be a quick lesson through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Yahweh Shai on how the saints or the Most High shall take the kingdom. You know, right now Esau is ruling in wickedness, but his kingdom is coming down. You know, and Yahweh Shai, once the Most High Yahweh sent back his only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Hamashak Yahweh Shai, right? He's going to establish a righteous kingdom on this earth, man. You see? And who's gonna be with him? Join heirs, the 144,000, the the tabernacle of David, man. You see? And the saints that Heavenly Father are gonna take the kingdom, man. You know, literally from these Edomites, by force, man. You see, and it's starting right now spiritually. You know, this word going out, spreading throughout the four corners of the earth. As a matter of fact, quick preset, then I'm gonna go back to Daniel. All right, let's get the book of Matthew, right? Because this, this gospel is getting preached throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Understand that. And when, when, when um, but this gospel is getting preached, Guess what? Watch this. Matthew 24 and 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations. Because what? The Israelites are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth amongst these other nations, man. You have Israelites, you know, that sea line goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but they may look like the other nations. You see, that's why this word got get preached in, um, in all the world, man. You know? And how this word will ma uh, mainly spreading through the internet, through YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Through these different social media platforms, the word is getting spread, man. Especially YouTube, man. You see? You got brothers in Australia. You got brothers in Germany. Brothers in Holland. You got brothers all over the place, man. In UK. You know, brothers in um, Jamaica, Puerto Rico. Brothers in um, Dominican Republic. Brothers in Haiti, man. You know, you got brothers in the Philippines. You see? Pushing his word in true sincerity, man. Brothers in Ghana. Brothers in Nigeria. You know, different parts of the continent of Africa. Pushing his word, man. You see? So this word is spreading throughout the four corners of the earth. But let's read it again because it's the main point I want to get into. Matthew 24 and 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. You see? Now the end, people, when people hear about the end, the end of the world, they think of the earth going to explode. But pursuant to Ecclesiastes 1 and I believe verse 4, if I'm not mistaken, let me read it right fast. Right? And I'm just rolling through the spirit, but through the spirit and probably how about Shemel Shah, it's all going to line up. Right, Ecclesiastes 1 and verse 4, Con, one generation passeth away and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. So the earth not going away. You see? Now it goes to the end. It's going to the end of a man's rulership. The end of this man's heaven. This is Esau's heaven, man. You know, this this is his rulership. He's, the, the scriptures say what? In Job 9 and 24, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Malachi, the first chapter, lets you know what? That Esau is that wicked. You know, Esau is the um the sword of the heavenly father on the left hand side. And he runs his earth right now through wickedness, man. You see, so the end is coming because his kingdom is coming to an end. This society is coming to the end. You know, this westernized, wicked ass society, you know, that you was born into, all of this is coming to an end, man. You know, it's coming to an end of um you working nine to fives, you know, you paying bills, rent, taxes, you going through hell, you know what I'm saying? Your woman bucking up against you, you know, um kids growing up and drag drag queen side of schools, all of that is coming to a fucking end, man. You know, this hell that we catch on this side is coming to an end. You see, that's what's coming to an end, man. Not the earth. You know, this man's rulership, this man's kingdom is coming to an end, man. You see? You got people promoting this wicked ass sodomite lifestyle, transformers, you know, all types of wickedness going on in this world. You got adulterers, you know, they glorify they glorify that in the music industry, man. You know, TY being, you know, taking um that means what? Um taking your bitch. You know what I'm saying? They glorify that in the industry, man. You know, taking um, another man's wife. You see? So all of that is coming to a goddamn end, man. You see? So we got to keep pushing this word because this gospel is getting preached and then ain't going to come. You know? And it's all going to trickle down to my lesson through the Spirit and Papi Yahweh Shem on how the saints and Moshe shall take the kingdom, man. And it's starting right now spiritually. And I got another quick precept. We're going to get, uh, right, we're going to get Second Edges 6 and verse 9. Right? To prove what I'm saying. So Second Edges 6 and I'm starting verse 7. Then answered I and said, and this is um the prophet Ezra, our forefather, speaking to the angel Uriel. And basically, the Mosai Yahweh was um 
given edges a rundown through the angel Uriel, you know, the things to come, you know what I'm saying, um, different prophecies and different visions, right? Uh, he, he gave the prophet edges a rundown of everything that's going to happen in these last days, man. You know, read 2nd Edges 15 chapter, 16 chapter. Man, listen, we're approaching that time, man. You know, actually, we're in the midst of it. Not even in the midst of it, the beginning stages of it, I'd rather say. Right? So 2nd Edges 6 and verse 7. Then answered I and said, What shall be the part in the son of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jake's, uh, sorry, Jacob hand, right? Oh, I said Jake's, very slacky, but uh, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world. Who's Esau today? You Edomites, you so called white people, man. You know, in the top um the top tribe of the, the, the nation of Edom is who? Amalek, Amalekites, the so called Jewish people today. You know, the top banking families, the Rothschilds, Gettys, DuPonts, you know, those that run the music industry, those that want run Hollywood, you know, they, they run the media. They own all these corporations that sell your food, man. You know, that they run the pharmacies, they run everything, man. You see, they're the ones that run this earth in wickedness. They rule this earth in wickedness, man. They promote nothing but wickedness. They don't promote, they don't, and they claim to be the most high's chosen, you know, but they don't they don't push none of the Heavenly Father's laws and commandments. You know, that's how you know they're the goddamn devil. You see? Second Edges 6 and verse 9. For Esau's the end of the world. So Esau, your world is coming to an end. You know? The end that's gonna come is your world, man. You know, your your society. You know, this wicked ass kingdom you got, man. All these different skyscrapers, everything, all that's coming down, man. You know, this, this whole kingdom is fathom after Esau's mind, man. He promoted up in wickedness. He used to live in caves, so he, he used to dwell in high places. That's why he got skyscrapers at 40 feet, 100 feet high. That's fucking madness, man. You see? For Esau's in the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Who's Jacob? Jacob name later got changed. It's our forefather, you know? Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Let's go even further back, you know, to Adam, you know? On down to who? Noah. Matter of fact, yeah, it's like, it's like it. Adam on down to Noah. You know what I'm saying? Making it brief. Adam on down to Noah. On down to Shem. You know? And out of the line of Shem came Abraham. Out of Abraham, Isaac. Then um, then um, Jacob and Esau. Esau, you know, he was not, you know, um, um the chosen sea line. The chosen sea line was through um Jacob. You know what I'm saying? If you go back on one generation before that, you had Isaac. And um the Lord told Abraham, and Isaac shall thy seed be called. So Ishmael, you 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 don't you um you threw it too, you know you so-called Arabs, you know you're not ruling next. You Russians, you're not ruling next. You Edomites, you Moabites, you're not ruling next. And Moab, I believe, came out of Lot, which was Abraham's nephew. You see, so I'm saying this to say what Jacob is who, um his name later got changed to Israel, was is Yasha Allah in the in the Hebrew, you know, which means he prince of the power, you know, you see, um um so Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. So Jacob had twelve sons, in Judah. Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon, um, Nephtali, Zebulon, Issachar, Gad, Reuben, um, um, Slakia, I'm missing one. Gad, Reuben, Issachar, um, Zebulon. You see, if I, if I say that already, Slakia, but the, um, he had 12 um, sons, man, which are the so called blacks, Hispanics, native of some of the Indians today. Understand that? So, let's read that again. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. You know, Jacob, you know, his sea line, the chosen people, man, the Israelites. Understand that. You know, that's the beginning of it that followeth. And the Lord right now only dealing with a remnant of the nation of Israel. You see? As a matter of fact, let's, let's, let's read that right fast through the Spirit of Pavi Habashim El Shah. Right, um, let me pull it up on my tablet because I don't remember exactly where it's at, but through the Spirit of Pavi Habashim El Shah, Lord willing, I could find it. Um, left the remnant. The Lord left the remnant, man. You know. Uh, let's read this. Right. Uh, I believe it's uh, Slakia. Khan Isaiah one and nine. Except the Lord Yahweh Bashim Al of hosts of armies had left unto us a very small remnant. And the scriptures talk about what? Um, um, this world is made for many, but the world to come for few. That's the remnant, man. The elect. The 144,000 are down to the rest of the one third, the great multitude that you can't even number, man. You know, if you can't number the elect, imagine how many Israelites are going to die, man. You know, it's going to be a lot of wicked Israelites getting put to death in these last days in the, in the midst of the transition between these two kingdoms, a wicked rulership to a righteous, you know. So except the Lord of hosts had left, of a, left us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom 
and we should have been like unto Gomorrah, man. What did the Lord do to Sodom and Gomorrah? He burned it with fire and brimstone. When you go into the word brimstone, it goes to sofa, man. You know, and that's a, a, chem, a element, I believe, is an element that, that makes up atoms. And who, um, during the time, I believe back in like the 1950s, if I'm not mistaken, or 60s, or probably 40s, you know, um, both Esau, uh, I, was, I would say both in Babylon and um, Russia, they was hiring um, uh, um, German scientists to come up with nuclear weapons, man. You know, and you read Isaiah the 54th chapter, you go into the Smith, you know, and the Smith creates weapons. So the Lord put the spirit upon these Edomites, the wise men of Teman, to come up and be able to split the atom, you know, to be able to come up with these nuclear weapons, man. You see? So that fire brimstone, the Lord born of Sodom and Gomorrah, Today is in the form of what? ICBM nuclear missiles, man. And that's a whole nother lesson for another time. So my point is lesson how the saints are going to take the kingdom. So we're in a transition right now between two kingdoms, a wicked rulership to a righteous. And that's what Esau about to come try to come down hard with great wrath because he know he got a short time. He knows his kingdom is through, man. He's out of here. You see? So the Lord left us, the Lord left us, the, um, the nation of Israel, a small remnant. And I pray you're a part of that number, you brothers out there listening, you few sisters. I myself is a part of that number. I pray, man. Babakshah, 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 have mercy upon us, man. You know, those that truly believe in Yahweh Bashem Al these last days, I pray the Lord have mercy upon us and deliver us, man, and guide us and protect us. You know, because we're going to need his protection. We're going to need divine intervention in the midst of this, man, because all hell getting ready to break loose very soon in society. You see? But in these last days, we got to always use wisdom, you know, um, with, to those that are without wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Being, being able to maneuver within the society. You, you see? Because brothers still got to work, brothers still got to pay bills. But guess what? All of that is coming to an end very soon, man. You know? And that's what we can't wait for. That's why we hasten it. That's why through the spirit and probably how about Shah, the elder apostle Taha, um, deemed this year what? The year of hastening, man. Until the coming of the day of Yahweh Shah. Because we can't wait for that day to come, man. Through the spirit. You know, but we understand why um all of this gotta play out because the Lord is um, um raising up the tabernacle of David. You see the elect getting the word. You know, so once the elect gets sealed, that's a wrap, pursuant to Revelation the seventh chapter. You know? So let's go back to this scripture I got lined up. Uh let me see what's more on that. Now I said on that. Right? So we're gonna go back to uh second Urge 6 and verse 9. Right? Then I got a couple more that I'm gonna close out, straight to the point. Second Urge 6, verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. So Esau, your world coming to an end. And Jacob, Yashua, the twelve tribes of the children of Israel, you know. Is the um the beginning of it that followed. Once Yahweh Shah come back and he's an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, and he only come in to save his people. You see? And it said that in Matthew, the first chapter, the 21st verse, how um um thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shah, and he shall save his people from their sins. Acts 5 and 29 on down to verse 30 or 31, I believe. How he's a prince and a savior to, to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins, man. You know, so he's not coming to save everybody. You see, so you got a lot of wacky tacky Christians out there that think, you know, um, he coming back, you know, white woolly hair. You know, like, uh, 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 he coming back with white woolly hair, of course. You know what I'm saying? Dark skin. He, he is life in the tribe of Judah. But you have wacky tacky Christians that believe that he coming back with um that stringy dog brown hair. You know what I'm saying? Blue eyes, pale skin, no melanin, you know, singing Kumbaya, you know, um, um, you know, you're going to hear like, a, no, man, he's not coming back skipping over daffodils and dandelions. Read Isaiah the 63rd chapter. He's coming back with dyed garments, man. You know, even like his, his garments are dipped in a wine press because he's going to put a whole bunch of people to death. You see? So I understand that, man. Um, so I can, one second, y'all, let me pull something up. Let me get back to these precepts through the spirit of the popular by Shemel Shai because this is all my spirit. I want to, I want to make sure I said uh, all the tribes and nation Israel, man. Right? So we got Judah, Benjamin, Levi. So this is when it says Jacob is the beginning, beginning of it that followeth. Jacob name later got changed to Israel. Yahshua Ali, he had 12 sons, and he, these are his 12 sons. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon, Zebulon, Gad, Reuben, Asher. That's why I forgot to mention Asher. It's a card Naphtali. You know what I'm saying? And don't forget about Joseph. He also had Dan as well. And Joseph, you know, his um two sons was um Ephraim and Manasseh. Manasseh was the uh, firstborn, then Ephraim. But when Jacob was blessing them, Jacob blessed um, um, Ephraim and said, Ephraim, I forgot the exact blessing, so slacky for that, you know? So that's why we, Ephraim and Joseph are interchangeable, you know? When you hear Ephraim sometimes in the scriptures, you know, outside like when you hear Joseph, like in the book of Revelation, when it's when it listing out the 12 tribes, each tribe, 12,000 12, from each tribe, it goes into, um, it says Joseph, but that's going to Ephraim, you know? Just want to bring that out very fast through the spirit. So 
<clears throat> Let's read this again. Matthew 24 and verse 14. In this gospel, so this is the gospel that's getting preached. You know, this truth. You know, in this gospel, the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So right now, Esau is terrified, man. You know, as a matter of fact, let's read that right fast. The relation 11 and verse 11. And after three days and a half, there was three days and a half, 350 years from the time of, um, from the time of 1619, when you could find all the 12 tribes of Israel here in America, Babylon, the great Judah, the so-called American blacks on down to um, um, Issachar, um, so-called Mexicans. You see what I'm saying? On, on on this side of the world, right from 1619 to what? Uh, 1969 through, uh, 1969 through 1970 is 350 years when Elder Abba Bivens was um, the prophet Elijah, John the Baptist back on the earth. You see? So it says what? And after three days and a half, the spirit of life, and you can read this in Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. You know, that's a pro this prophecy coming to pass as we speak, man. You know, that this book is speaking. You know, scripture say what? In Habakkuk, the second chapter, that at the end it shall speak and not lie. The visions, you know, different visions the Lord gave to the prophets is all speaking as, as I'm doing this lesson, as brothers doing lessons, as brothers going out there and teaching. You know, um, your brothers and sisters listening, watching the videos, believing. You know, this is prophecy coming to pass, man. You know, the Lord said what? His word not going to return into him void. You know, and after three days and a half, this is Revelation 11 and 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the most high entered into them, the elect. You know, the hopeful elect, right? And they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them with saw them. So the elites, they're terrified, you know? This Edomites, they're terrified. The other nations, they're scared, man. When they see brothers out there teaching, you know, they get they get scared, man. They get terrified, man. You know, they feel threatened, you know? And it's all spiritual, man. We're not coming out there with guns and promoting nothing carnal. You know, we're going out there with the sword, which is the word, the scripture, man. You know, the scriptures, you know, and they scared, man. You know, verse 12, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither to that chariot. And they ascended up into heaven in the cloud. You know, so once um once the elect gets sealed, you know, destruction going to come. The Lord going to deliver his elect from the four winds of the earth. And they will be being up to the chariot, you know, the, the big father ship, you see. And their enemies beheld them. And all the enemies going to see us get beamed up. Lord willing, we're part of that number, of course. You see, uh, it's like here. And the same hour was there a great earthquake and the 10th part of the city fell. And, you know, Babylon, America, split into, FEMA split into 10 parts, you know, and in the earthquake were slain of men, 7,000, seven mean what completion. So a lot of people going to die in these last days by that fire and the remnant, the elect were affrighted and gave glory to the most high of heaven. You know, the second world was passed and the, behold, the third world coming quickly. World War three going to pop off very soon. And in the midst of World War three, the Lord will deliver his elect. Now let's read this right fast through the spirit of Papi Habashim El Shai. I believe what I want is Revelation 17, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Wait, hold on. Let me go back to this right fast. I just thought of another preset. Right? Wait, it's like it. One second. Okay, Khan. So let's get Revelation 21, verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. You see? Meaning what? The earth going to get refreshed, renewed. You know what I'm saying? Because the earth about it forever, like I started off with earlier. And I saw a new heaven, new rulership. You know, which is the righteous rulership. You see? For the first heaven and the first earth will pass away. You know, scripture also say what? The fashion of this world passeth away. You know? So that's why in these last days, man, we gotta be on our watch. You know, and spiritually, um, come out of this place, Babylon, great pursuant to Revelation 18, verse 4. You know, we get Michael 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not our rest. You know? Because this world about to come to an end. You saw your world coming to an end, man. Right? And the same to the most high gonna take this kingdom. I'm about to get into that as well. I got a couple more precepts. So for the first heaven and the first earth will pass away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from heaven. It's like coming down from the Most High out of heaven. Understand that? So that's the elect coming out of them, descending out of the chariots, man. That's New Jerusalem, because Jerusalem is a people before it's a place, right? Prepared as a bride adorned for her husband, right? And, 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 and once they come down, what are they going to do? Let's read it. Being joint heirs of Mashiach Yahushua, what is 144,000 going to do? You know, what is the elect going to do with the rest of the host of heaven? On um, the right hand side Let's read it man uh, We're going to get Psalms 149 And verse 5 Let the saints be joy joyful in glory Let them sing aloud upon their beds Let the high um, praises of the most high Yahweh Shah Be in their mouth And a two edged sword in their hand To execute vengeance upon the heathen And punishments upon the people to bind their kings. When they come down, they're going to bind the kings of other nations, especially Esau, Wicked Ass Edom, 
with chains and, and, no, and their nobles, the rich men, with fetters of iron. Because you're going to have um, the Lord and preserve some of these heathens, especially Esau, the elites of them, to, um, to um, escape that fire, basically, man. So they'd be the first crops of slaves in the kingdom of heaven, you know. So to bind their kings. So this is the, the saints taking their kingdom, man. To bind their kings with chains and, and their nobles with fetters of iron. To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise you the Lord. Now let's also get this. Isaiah 24. Right? Isaiah 24. Right? And we're going to start at verse 19. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly because the chariots, I'm um, sorry, the chariots, the well, fire is going to come from the chariots as well. But the ICBM nuclear missiles, man, going to be shot off and the earth can move off its access. It's going to go into it, right? The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it and it shall fall and not rise again. So understand that, man. Once the missile gets shot up, you saw your kingdom is never rising again, man. You know, no other nation will ever be able to rule again. And the earth gonna roll like roll to and fro like a drunkard. It's gonna get moved off its axis, man. Because all the missiles getting shot and the fire coming down from the chariots. Now watch this. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high, the elites, you know. And the kings of the earth upon the earth, all the all the kings of other nations, man. And they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit. And shall be shut up in the prison, and after many days shall they be visited, man. So that's what that's what um when when, when New Jerusalem the elect the descend from the chariots, they're gonna come down to do what? Um grab the kings, the the high ones that are on high, the elites of the other nations, especially Esau, wicked ass Edom, of course. And we're gonna bind y'all up, and we're gonna bring y'all to the land of Israel, pursuant to Isaiah the 14th chapter. Let's read it. Right? And y'all gonna be the first crops of slaves. You see? So Isaiah 14 and verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. So this prophecy getting ready to come to pass very soon. And set them in their own land. And the strangers, the Israelite foreigners, right, shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Now it's about the transition going to the other nations. Watch this. And the people shall take them to the other nations and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors, man. You see? So th this world about to come to an end, brothers. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're approaching that time very soon. You know, so we got to keep doing what we're doing. Keep um, um, praying. Keep prophesying. Keep teaching. You know, keep rehearsing the righteous acts. You know, to the best of our ability, man. Because this time is coming soon, man. Don't forget about it. One day, you know what I'm saying? We're not going to have to work for the, um, our enemies no more. You know, be um, stereotyped. You see, I'll uh, be at the bottom in the ghettos and the slums. You see, the, the kingdom of heaven, if, if I would have kept reading in Revelation 21st chapter, it goes into how the kingdom of heaven going to look, man. Being the city paid with gold and precious metals, man. You can't really fathom that, man. But that's that's how we're going to be that's how we're gonna be living, man. You know, like royalty, man. You know, the Lord said what? Um, um, we're not supposed to give the Lord um, 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 rest day nor night till he established and make Jerusalem a praise on the earth again, man. So we gotta constantly throw videos, man. Constantly pray that the Lord destroy this place. Abad, babal, babaksha, babaksha, babaksha. You know, pray for um shorter days, man. Pray for the Lord to shorten the days for the elect's sake. You see? So it says, and it shall come to pass, this verse three, and it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve because we went off as a nation. But all of this is a part of the Most High's big movie, man. You see what I'm saying? All of this is in the script, the scriptures, you know, and it's a beautiful thing, man. You know, we're, just, we're blessed that we're Israelites, man. You see, um, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, how has the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. Let's jump down. Verse 7, the whole earth is at rest and, and, and it's quiet. They break forth into singing. So the whole earth will be at rest once this man's kingdom ends, man. You see, once, once the Most High Yahweh sent back his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to um, establish a righteous world, the whole earth gonna be at rest, man. You know, and even after a thousand years, you other nations will get your land back, but you're gonna be tributaries to the nation of Israel, and y'all gonna be able to enjoy the earth, man. You know, of course, not, not like us, you know, because y'all gonna be tributaries to us, you know, but you're not gonna live in a world that's polluted with uh, uh, fucking chemtrails in the air, eating GMO foods. No, man. You know, the whole earth gonna be at rest, man. And after a thousand years, Esau, you're, you're through. You're getting done away with, man. You see? 
So verse 8, Yea, the fair trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no filler has come up against us. Let's jump down to verse uh, 12. How art thou fallen from heaven? Rulership, O Lucifer, Edom, Esau, son of the morning. You know, when we go into the word Lucifer, it means light bearer. You know, also going to the king of Babylon, which is who Esau, Edom. You know, they run this earth and wickedness, starting with the Amalekites on down. How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? You know, so Esau, your kingdom is through, man. You, you know, you're out of here. You see? Now let's end it off. Let's go back to the book of Daniel. Because the kingdom that's coming is going to be everlasting. You know? Let's read it. Daniel 7 and 18 again. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. You know, the Spirit have told me to do this quick lesson. You know, um, I was on YouTube, you know, about to watch um, a couple videos, stuff like that, through the Spirit. And I seen a brother, um, a Naktazak Ban Yam Yam 144. Um, he posted this in, his, in the community section, this picture right here, man. And, and, and it captivated me, you know. And the scripture he posted was Daniel 7 and 18, you know. And I was like, that's the spirit, man. I could just, you know, um, screenshot this and do a quick lesson with this in the background. You know, so make sure to subscribe to that brother's channel. You know, I may post a link of his channel in the description box below. He posts on his backup right now. But the brother do video, um, so I get beautiful video lessons through the spirit, right? Let's jump down. Daniel 7 and verse 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given unto the people of the saints of the most high the, the israelites starting with the elect you know whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominion the second like, all dominion shall serve and obey him who yahweh basham yahweh shah you know all nations gonna bow to yahweh shah um, um the, the lord said what he placed everything on his son's feet man you know and Lord willing, part of another, the elect, we're going to be joined heirs with him, Ashiach, Yahweh Shai, man. That's beautiful, man. You know? So, the scripture also going to how, um, in the midst of this world, you know, um, in the midst of what? Uh, this, the transition between two kingdoms, much tribulation is coming. Some of us got to get, um, get beheaded, be martyrs, you know? But the scripture say what? That they lived and reigned with Mashiach a thousand years. You see? So, you want to be part of number that's joined heirs, man, with Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, be a part of the elect. And that's what we're fighting for, man. You know, so I'm ending off with this precept right here. Daniel 2 and 44. In the days of these kings shall the most high, the psychic shall the power of heaven, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. So the kingdom that's coming is never going to get destroyed, man. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever. You know, so no other nation will ever taste rulership ever again. You see? We will never get oppressed ever again. We never have to work nine to fives ever again. We never have to stress about having kids on this side ever again. We got, we're going to be fruitful and multiply. You know, we're not going to stress about um, our kids getting snatched up, you know, get um, inoculated. You know, our woman's getting raped and ravished. You know, our daughter's getting raped. You know what I'm saying? It's snatched from us. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to worry about um, getting shot by straight bullets. You know, um, we're not, we're not going to walk outside and slip on, um, step on gum or slip on banana pills. No, man. You know, we're gonna live like royalty, man. And that's gonna and that's gonna last forever. That's gonna be everlasting. So that's what we're fighting for, man. You see? We never have to pay rent, bills, you know, we never have to gonna get looked down upon. You know, none of these heathen nations are gonna be able to say no to us, man. We can we're gonna have the law, we're gonna have the law, statutes, and commandments embedded inside of us, man. We're gonna be um um the hundred forty four thousand gonna be perfect judges, kings, rulers, leaders of the nation of Israel, man. And all the people are gonna be righteous, pursuant to the scriptures. Um, how the whole entire nation of Israel shall um, be perfect and righteous, man. So that's what we're fighting for, man. The Lord will give us the new bodies. So we got a lot to look forward to, brothers. And you few sisters, man, you know, that, that believe. You know, because there'll be a lot of women these last days that, that's going to get put to death, man. A lot of men, too. Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's more women than men. So imagine how many women, Israelite women, is going to get put to death in these last days for being rebellious, not, not submissive, being fucking wicked as all hell, man. You know what I'm saying? And men as well. Don't get me wrong. A lot of these wicked ass Israelite men sagging their pants at their fucking toes. They're going to get put to death and they're not going to taste of this. And they got to get born through the elect. They're not going to make it on the first bus. You know, so you want to make it on the first bus. So keep doing what you're doing. We heard some righteous sacks, praying, fasting, and doing. And I pray you was edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shai. I want to give Kohalayim, La Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Chakadash, double honor said elders and apostles of great millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth. And sincerity. Without him, I say, Charlie Wong.